So when I was approached by somebody named Hulu to make a sequel, I had two conditions. One, they had to make me look exactly how I did in 1981. And here I am, exactly what I looked like. Who knew there were muscles here? Anyway, my other stipulation was all original material. Nothing from part one. No repeats. So without further ado, I present to you History of the World Part 2. Hey guys, look at me. I'm swole. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, Father, excellent. You have the dogs. And where are the rest of the animals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in here. Come check them out. Let's go. Oh, yeah. and... <laughs> Father, what's going on? Where are the other beasts? I thought you were supposed to get two of every animal. I did get two of every animal. I got two chihuahuas, I got two Pekingeses, two pugs. Actually, I got three pugs. Don't tell God. Lord, I shall give these laws unto thy people. Hear me! Oh, hear me! All pay heed! The Lord, the Lord Jehovah, has given unto you these 15... Ten! Ten commandments for all to obey! Occupation. Gladiator. Did you kill last week? No. Did you try to kill last week? Yeah. Now listen, this is your last week of unemployment insurance. Either you kill somebody next week or we're gonna have to change your status. You got it? Yeah. Sign. Hey, ciao, Margarita de' Medici. This is uh, Galileo with a cameo, a.k.a. A Galilamio. This is uh, from your father, the Grand Duke of Tuscany, and he wanted me to wish you a happy birthday, 16 years old, uh, which means that you can now get married to the Duke of Parma, and uh, that's good for you because they got it at cheese money. <laughs> Anyway, I hope it's a successful marriage so that we can avoid a land war. Please let your father know that I make this message for you so he can put in a good word with the Pope and the Pope doesn't torture me and stretch me out like a string cheese, bringing it back to the Duke of Parma. Okay, much love and peace. The Leaning Tower of... Read the latest draft of Hamlet. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. Does Shakespeare like it? Yeah. Is Shakespeare in love? No. No, not yet. Keep pushing. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm just... Ugh, I'm rife with hunger. What are we doing for lunch? Uh, we ordered Chipotle. God damn it. Oh! Alas, poor Yorick! Fine, I, I barely knew him anyway. You pitched me a lump of coal, and I, out of the kindness of my heart, took it and made it into a diamond. Okay, what you actually did was, I said an idea, then you repeated it as if it was your own idea. You don't understand the pressure I'm under! I have to produce! I have to make sure the costumes are hot! and heavy. I have to cast men that look like pretty little women. The Civil War was in its final days. We're talking about the one in the 1860s, not the one coming up in 2024. The South was on its last legs as the Union Army closed in. And at the head of that army was the lushly bearded Mrs. S. Grant, who was also a bit of a lush. General Grant. <laughs> Big win out there. What is going through your mind right now? Well, we lost 4,000 men out there. They're dead. But we did kill 6,000 of their guys. But a lot of their guys were related to our guys, so it's a lot of mixed emotions right now. Baby. They say the war is almost over. If the North wins, will you go to Disneyland? Well, that depends. Do they have a bar? <laughs> JK, I'll hang you both if you dumped it on me. Great to see you. Mr. President. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, Stephen Douglas's dickhole. Oh, are you okay, sir? Yes, I'm fine. Have a seat. You listeners, have a seat. Oh, Mr. President, you look exhausted. This war has taken a toll on you, sir. It's not the war. It's my height that you're imbibing has gotten a bit out of control. My imbibing? Mm -hmm. Who told you that? Was it Sheridan? Because he's addicted to loudum. 
Look, I don't drink a lot, you know? Like, maybe, like, a little bit, like, on a holiday or something. No more alcohol until the war is over? Do you understand me, Ulysses? Ah! <sighs> yeah, sure, fine. I don't need a drink. Hands up where I can see them. Ah. Good gravy is Harriet Tubman. Right, Harriet Tubman, the inventor of the tub, I want to say? She created the Underground Railroad, which I thought was a network of small groups moving stealthily around the country to escape slavery, but yeah, no, this is a railroad. Yeah, it's a railroad. And you fellas jumped the turnstile. Pay up. Tell me there's gravity without telling me there's gravity. Me, a Galileo, I, I go first, sir. Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 Shoot! Ah! Mamma mia! Not so real. Oh no, I'm a falling again. Why did I invent the parachute? We are the Romanovs. We only sleep with beautiful relatives. Ew, Dad, boundaries. How long is this revolution gonna last? I wanna go back to the Winter Palace. This merchant's house was so last season. It should be a matter of time before we are reinstated as the rightful rulers of Russia. The people love us, and what's not to love with our leaky blood and weak bones? <coughs> oh, Lord, the prince is getting sick. Or... Oh, this is, like, really when I miss my servants. Okay. Hey, you guys, it's me, your girl, Princess Anastasia. For today's tutorial, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of comments that you guys are, like, pretty downtrodden and, like, poor or whatever. So, um, I figured I would show you how to decontour your cheeks so that your face can look like it has, like, food or, like, well, shelter. Anastasia, your lunch is here. You guys! Speaking of, where the devil is he? Did someone say the devil? Who farted? Oh! My dear Rasputin, the only mystic in Russia that I trust with my medical and political advice. Ah, Rasputin, I heard some noble stabbed you. A mere tickle. The idiot Tsar and his parasitic family have been executed. Ah, the White Army. It's about time you've come to escort us to the Winter Palace. We just like really loaded up. We're shooting in here. Oh my god, you guys. You know what, one second. Oh! oh my god. Okay, you guys, I'm like literally dead right now because my whole family is literally dead right now. I feel like I have to go into hiding. So um, watch this space and follow along my journey, hashtag Glass Room Enough. But most importantly, before I go, please do not forget to use my code Anastasia for 10% off your next Pets Mites order, you guys, okay? It's really important, okay? I love you. More in peace, bye. In Moscow, Vladimir Lenin and his top men discuss forming the new Soviet Union. And if they order lunch, so be it. Conrad Lenin, I have an idea. I would love to bounce off you. Hey, Stalin, quit stalling and get me another cup of Joe, Joe. <laughs> yes, sir. We won the revolution. But the battle is not yet over. We must purge the cancerous elements from within the party in a little something that I've been calling the Red Terror. Oh. The Red Terror. <laughs> I made one, too. You like? <laughs> <laughs> Stalinism? <laughs> what is wrong with you, Jojo? <laughs> Just make us coffee, OK? Yeah, and keep the pretty little mouth shut. Yes, thank you. Thank you, honey. Oh. Comrade Trotsky, you had presentation. Yes, thank you, Comrade Lenin. So I have built the Red Army, as we know, and I thought it could be kind of interesting if our soldiers march like this. Music, and a kick, and a kick, and a kick. Then we back it up, and then we back it up. And a hit twist, woo! Yeah. Thank you for having me to uh, pitch my new book idea. Well, thank you for coming. We're big fans. Uh, I'm a simple guy. <laughs> I like eating soup. I like having sex. If I'm not going slurp, 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 I'm eating soup. Uh, <laughs> I like that. And so this really brings my two passions together. I have created hundreds 
of tasty soup recipes and paired them with the perfect corresponding sexual position. I call it Kama Sutra from Soup to Nuts. Hey, what's up, familia? It's your boy, Galileo. Boy, that the gravity bit went more viral than syphilis at the Borgia Orgy. Hashtag Borgi, which I understand is now trending. Hello, <laughs> well, eh? But now that I have your attention, I want to talk to you about how the Earth revolves around the sun. I can prove it with a little something called a telescope. You may not have heard of it because I just invented it. <laughs> What? It's it's ringing. Oh, uh, we'll answer it. Who is this? It's your mama. Mama? But my mama has passed on. What? Hmm? She says it's my mother. I mean, who knows what this new technology can do? Yes, good point. Mama, it's little Alex. Are you there? Yes. It's your mama. I am Sigmund Freud, and this is my mommy class. <laughs> Master class. What? I will give you the tools you need to understand not only your own mind, but also the mind behind your mind. So join me for my master baits. Cla master class. That was what we called classic Sigmund slip. Ciao, familia. It's your boy, Galileo. I know you have not heard from me for a while, and that's because I was arrested for heresy. But the truth is, nobody loved the church more than me. Some of my best friends, they are priests. My two daughters, they are nuns. Hashtag nun dead. So I'm gonna go take some time away. Think about what I say. I'm so sorry. I don't mean any of it. I want to reflect on what I did and think about the gravity of talking about gravity. And maybe one day I can come back and just do goof arounds like I used to do. <laughs> That's it from me, Galileo. To all of you, I say, uh, peace. Leaning tower. The reason I asked you here, Mr. President, is because I feel like I'm not getting anything done in Congress. Why, yes, Shirley. You see, <clears throat> Congress has no power. The only person who could get anything done is the President of the United States. Easy dick, don't let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> so you're saying that the only way I can get stuff done is if I'm President? That's right, Shirley. Well, Mr. Nixon, you've inspired me. Well, great. To run for President. <laughs>